a mini burger and a giant hot dog, a teeny pizza, and perfect ravioli. Don't be surprised today. We're doing experiments on different size of dishes. Are you going to repeat them? Then watch our new video. Meet our trainee lab assistants, Vanilla and Melissa. They dream about big inventions in the field of genetic modification. And now they are going to have a snack. Oops, it seems that the girls can't share a toast. It gives them one more brilliant idea. What if they invent a doubling food substance? It would solve a global food shortage problem. An intense thinking process begins. The young scientists start calculating a doubling formula. They conduct a number of chemical experiments and test the first samples on laboratory bread. At last, the serum is ready, but it diminishes food instead of multiplying it by two. It was an unexpected turn of events. Let our diminiorum serve to make benefit. For example, let it make vanilla eat no more harmful fast food. The girls take in a whole package of junk food as always. French fries, a cheeseburger, and sauce. Let's see what I can do with it. I'm going to add some diminiorum to her fast food. Wow, I didn't expect it to be so strong. Vanilla comes back to her lunch. What's happened to my food? The french fries package is no bigger than a thimble, and the sauce box looks like a pill. My colleague must have done her diminishing experiments. Cut a potato into thin strips. Fry the potato strips in a big amount of vegetable oil. Add salt and pepper. Print out, cut, and assemble a box for french fries. Fasten it with super glue. Put the french fries miniatures into the box. Cut one section out of an empty pill blister package. Make the edges round and fill it with barbecue sauce. Print a mini sauce label on self-adhesive paper. Attach it to the blister top. This food is so small! I open the sauce and dip the match-sized potato in it. It turns out to be delicious. Diminiorum doesn't influence the taste of the dish. These small french fries isn't filling for sure. I wonder what happened to my cheeseburger. I can't see it anywhere. Here it is, hidden in a corner. Poor baby! Add salt and pepper to chicken mince. Mix it and make a small patty. Cook it. Cut a square piece of cheese. Slice a pickle finely. Cut cherry tomatoes into rings. Take the middle out of an onion and cut it into mini rings. Take small leaves out of a head of lettuce. Tear off the stem. Cut a round piece out of a bun. Shape two halves of a mini bun. Cover it with sauce. Put a lettuce leaf, the patty, onion rings, tomato, a cheese slice, and pieces of a pickle. Cover everything with the top of the mini bun. Sprinkle with sesame seeds. Fasten it using a toothpick with a mini flag. Heat the mini burger in the microwave before serving so that the cheese melts. I hold the tiniest cheeseburger in my hands. This invention can definitely be recorded in the Guinness Book. The burger is so small and helpless that I can't even dare to eat it. Vanilla is falling back into her old habits again. When she thinks no one sees her, she tries to snack with unhealthy chips. But I will distract her. I swap the big package of Pringles with its tiny replica and add some healthy food. It's an apple. Spray potato chips with water so that they get wet. Cut out small circles using a thick drinking straw. Dry them out in a microwave on grill mode. Wrap the straw with a printed miniature of a Pringles label. 
Take plugs out of felt tip pens. Cut off the tops. Attach one plug to the bottom of the tube. Use the second plug as a cap. Cover the top and the bottom with self-adhesive foil. Put in the mini chips. Put on the cap. Vanilla finds an apple on the table. But where are my chips? Here they are, hiding behind the healthy food. I open the box. Well, these chips are only for one bite. It's hard to imagine a version smaller than this one. I will come up with a new formula to take revenge for my diminished lunch. It will be a serum of enlargement. Melissa will be green with envy. My colleague appears in the laboratory with a huge hot dog all of a sudden. Is she actually the one who invented the enlarging serum? Cut big onion rings. Spray them with vinegar. Sprinkle with salt and sugar. Cut a big carrot into long strips and marinate it in the same way. Cut a loaf of bread from one side. Put in some lettuce. Add the rings of marinated onion and carrot. Put a bologna that looks like a sausage on top. Add some ketchup and mustard and put it in a paper bag with a hot dog label on it. The giant hot dog looks exactly like a real one. Melissa shows me her invention. It's a green colored liquid. How did she manage to do it? And what if I try to enlarge the hot dog a little bit more? At the same time, we will see how the serum works. I add a drop of the liquid to the hot dog to make it grow, but it gets diminished instead. It's our good old diminierum. Melissa's tricked me. She's made this hot dog herself without using chemicals. Melissa denies all of my accusations. Well, in case you don't cheat, prove it. Turn this mini burger into a regular sized cheeseburger using your new invention. But Melissa knows how to wriggle out of doing it. Oh, what's there on your glasses? And while her colleague is distracted, she swaps the mini burger for a real one. Slickly! Vanilla didn't notice anything, but she will bring the cheater out into the open. Melissa loves pizza very much, and if her enlarging chemical does work, then she should increase this mini copy of a delicious pizza to turn it into its real size. Cut a small circle out of a thin pizza crust. To cook the pizza, we will need salami, cheese, white button mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, and red pepper of a sweet variety. Cut out small circles out of a piece of salami using a straw. Cut the mushrooms into thin slices and make miniature mushroom-shaped pieces out of them. Cut the pepper into rings. Slice the cherry tomato and shape them into triangles. Assemble a mini pizza out of the ingredients. Cover the pizza crust with ketchup. Put on the mushrooms, tomatoes, salami, and pepper. Add finely grated cheese on top. Bake the mini pizza in a microwave. Print and cut out a pizza box layout. Assemble it and fasten. Put in the pizza. I bring the box with the pizza to Melissa. Oops, it shrunk. It is so tiny. Use your serum and enlarge it. This is a complete fail. Melissa isn't able to increase it no matter how hard she tries. She will have to enjoy its miniature copy. Okay, let it be. Leave this baby pizza. You won't fill up with it. Help yourself to the real one. Melissa keeps working even during her lunchtime. She mixes new ingredients and spills some of the chemicals onto her plate accidentally. Wow, does it actually work? Ravioli has turned bigger. Cut a lasagna sheet into squares. 
Cook the sheets in boiling water until it's almost ready. Shred some spinach and mix it with quark, salt, and pepper for filling. Put the filling into the center of the sheet square and cover it with another one. Press the edges and trim them. Cut the edges to make them jagged. Cook the ravioli in a microwave until they are ready. Cover them with cream and sprinkle with parsley. This is what we call an invention. We did it! We will be able to supply all the countries in need with food using this enlarging chemical. Did you like our enlargement and diminishing experiments with food? Then write in your comments what you would like to cook. A big hot dog or a tiny pizza. And don't forget to give your thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss the most delicious stuff on the Troom Troom channel.